All successful people have mentors. What's going on guys? It's Josiah, your success strategist. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to have your very own personal mentor to help guide you on your road to success. So don't forget to subscribe. Here's something very important that you have to understand. All successful people have mentors. I'm going to say that again. All successful people have mentors. If you want to accomplish anything great in your life, you will not get there without having a mentor because all successful people have mentors. You look at any industry, any field, every world-class performer has a coach. They have an advisor. They have a team of people that are driving them towards world-class success. You think about some of the most successful people that have ever walked the face of the earth, they've all had mentors. Michael Jordan had mentors, Phil Jackson, Dean Smith, Warren Buffett had a mentor. His name was Benjamin Graham, right? All successful people have mentors. Albert Einstein had a mentor. Jesus Christ had a mentor. All successful people have mentors. And in today's video, what I want to do is I want to first and foremost address why all successful people have mentors. And the second thing that I want to do is I want to show you how to go about finding your own personal mentor to help you on the road to success. So let me say this first. Over 80% of all success from all world-class performers is attributed to the mentors that they have. You ask any elite performer, any great artist, any great entertainer, any great doctor, lawyer, engineer, painter, entrepreneur, you name it, the list goes on forever, spiritual leader. They all have had mentors that have largely contributed to their success. I have mentors. I didn't just wake up out of bed one day and learn how to be able to start my own business, learn how to be able to get out of debt, learn how to be able to work from home. I had to be able to figure this out from some of the best and brightest minds in society. And what I want you to understand is the significance of having a mentor is so much more important in our community because many of us came from backgrounds where you did not have a mentor to show you how to do the things that you want to do. Maybe you had family and friends that were well-intentioned and they always gave you their opinion about things, but they never showed you step-by-step step how to get things accomplished. And so one of the things that separates all the top performers from everybody else that's just kind of average is while average people are trying to figure out life on their own and they have only accomplished the things that they have figured out, the people that are playing at the highest levels have gotten to the highest level as quickly as possible because they had someone show them how to be able to get it done, okay? If you're going to be successful, you got to have a mentor. Now, let me address a few reasons why. First and foremost, the reason why having a mentor is of the utmost importance. This is not optional. This is not something that's always oh, nice to have. It's not like how black folks think about getting a shrink or a therapist, something that only other communities do. No, in every community where success is born, mentors are always on the scene, okay? And one of the reasons why having a mentor is critical is because life is too complex for you to figure everything out on your own. Life is too complex. So I don't care where you're watching this video from. There's one thing that we all have in common. We've gone through life and we have identified that life is hard. We've identified that life is not always fair. We've identified that life is going to throw at you tremendous blows. Life is far too complex for you to try to get to the top on your own. It doesn't work that way. Listen, 
You don't even know how long you're going to be alive. So do you really think that you have all the time in the world to be able to figure out every facet of life on your own? No. That's the thing that separates the top performers. They have people that are working very closely with them as advisors, as coaches, as consultants, as a, a brain trust to be able to show them all of the shortcuts so that way they don't try at something and then fail. Let's write that down for number one and hopefully you're taking notes. Okay, the reason why all successful people have mentors is because life is too complex. Okay, so quick example. Let's say that you want to be a basketball player. Let's say that you're trying to get into the NBA. And you got an opportunity to learn how to play basketball from Michael Jordan. Would you deny Michael Jordan and just try to be able to teach yourself the game? Or would you find out how to be able to play the game so that way you could be competitive from one of the best basketball players, if not the greatest basketball player in the world? See, it's going to be too complex for you as an individual to learn all of the moves, learn all of the techniques, learn the do's and don'ts, and learn what you need to be doing to be competitive at the highest level. You might be good on your local street corner. You might be good in your neighborhood. You might be competitive in your city. But if you're trying to get to the NBA and only 1% of all of the basketball players in the world make it into the NBA, then that means that there's a lot of information that the average person isn't going to pick up on, and the best way for you to be able to get into the league is by someone that's already there. See, if you're trying to figure this all out and you're on the outs, that means that there's a 99% chance that you're always going to stay on the outs because... You don't know what you need to know about how to be successful. And you don't know what you don't know, right? All you know is the little move or the little shot that you've always been doing that comes naturally to you, okay? So the first thing that you got to understand is life is too complex. Let's say that you're trying to uh, be a doctor. It would make a lot of sense for you as a doctor to learn from another doctor. Let's say that you're trying to be a surgeon. Do you think that you're just going to uh, go to google.com and actually search how to be able to perform an open heart surgery? Or would you learn how to conduct an open heart surgery from a doctor or surgeon that's already performed it a million times over? See, in order for you to accomplish great things, you need to be able to have a great leader that's far ahead of you. Somebody that has a track record in that specific arena that can show you how it's done. Again, you can have friends and family and they can have all the thoughts in the world. Oh, you should do this and you should do that. But here's the question. Have they done it themselves? Have you done what you want to set out to accomplish? If the answer is no... You should only be looking to find the people that have done the things that you want to do. And that leads me to my second point. Success is achieved by modeling. This is the reason why you must have a mentor. Success is achieved by modeling. What does modeling mean? Modeling means that we as humans begin to make sense of how to be able to perform something after we have something to look at as a model of how to do it. So you look at Tiger Woods, greatest golfer in the world by many people's opinions, right? How did Tiger Woods learn the game of golf? Well, as a very young child, even a baby, his father would sit Tiger in the high chair and Tiger would be watching his father playing golf. Tiger's father appreciated the game of golf and he told Tiger Woods how to be able to perfect his swing, how to be able to learn the techniques, how to be able to go out and dominate the sport of golf on an extremely competitive level. And so even though Tiger Woods already had a natural genetic makeup and had certain gifts and certain potentials, 
potential will only take you but so far. In order to be world class and successful at whatever it is that you're doing, you've got to be able to have a model. You've got to be able to have someone that you can look at where you can see step by step what they're doing in the way that you want to accomplish your results. So that way their habits can begin to rub off on you. Here's something that they always say. You're going to become the average of your five closest friends. So if your five closest friends are all overweight, let's say, you're never going to be able to learn through their behavior how to have world-class fitness, right? Or have a world-class physique. Only if they change their behaviors could you remotely have a chance at achieving that accomplishment. But let's say that you hang around five bodybuilders, right? Those are your five closest friends. Well, quite naturally, if you don't learn any other thing under the sun, you're going to learn how to get in shape because they do it by second nature. That's their, they eat, breathe, and sleep working out. So just for you to be in that circle so often, the way that they approach their day, the mindset that they have towards their industry is going to rub off on you. You got to put yourself in arenas where other people's success begin to rub off on you. Have you ever heard of a term in the black community called crabs in a barrel? What is that talking about? Crabs in a barrel is when one person from a particular community or a particular environment tries to do better for themselves, but because of the fact that everyone else that's around them is not aspiring to do better, they're going to pull the one person down who is trying to achieve certain success, all because of the fact that misery loves company. So the same way that you would have crabs in a barrel where the common behavior of people is not striving for success, their ways will infect you the same way that success can infect you by being around successful mentors. And it's really all about you changing your environment. The same exact way that you could find yourself in an environment of people that are going to tear you down, you need to start focusing on putting yourself in an environment of people who can actually pull you up. And just by them having the certain subconscious behaviors that they themselves might not even notice because they do it so often is going to begin to rub off on you. I remember I was spending um, some time at one of my mentors uh, houses and I was just asking questions about how to be able to improve my daily performance. And one of the questions that he asked me was, how many assistants do you have? Now, this was so crazy to me because coming where I come from, having one personal assistant is almost kind of taboo. It's almost like it's frowned upon coming from my background because, you know, with, with my environment coming from a certain black community, it's almost viewed as though it's a weakness for you to have somebody that's in position to help you out. We ha have a I'm a do me mentality. We have a, a self-made mentality, even though there's no such thing as a self-made anything. <laughs> Any quote unquote self-made millionaire has always had a mentor and a team around them in order to reach next level results. OK, so what I'm trying to show you is that your life is literally going to be dictated by who you have in your circle. And if you've yet to come to that conclusion, you're probably already suffering the negative detriments of not having the right people around. So you start putting yourself in environments with people where you start to feel a little uncomfortable because of how successful they are. People start to laugh at your goals because how far um, you are from where they're at, they start to look at some of the things that you think is a big deal and they don't think anything about it because they're so far ahead, they look at your goals and laugh. If you actually start to begin to put yourself around those people, you would be surprised at how much farther you could go in life because you have someone that's pushing you 
for greatness. You're not going to get anywhere on any high level on your own. Okay, so I'm going to just write this down. Number two is all about modeling. Okay, modeling, modeling, modeling. In order to achieve success, you have to study success. You have to model success. If you want to be a speaker, you have to start modeling the behaviors of other speakers. If you want to be a chef, you got to learn from other chefs. You can't go to a person that's never cooked food a day in their life and figure out how to make a five-star dinner, right? Would that make sense? So the same way that you want to get out of debt, it would behoove you to find somebody that's actually gotten out of debt to show you how to be able to do that. If you want to be able to start a business, you got to be able to find someone who has successfully started their own business so that way they could show it to you step by step. And here's a bonus tip. You need to find somebody that looks just like you because if you try to go to other demographics and other communities, you might be able to pick up on certain things here and there, but because of the fact that their life story doesn't really align with yours in the challenges that you've had to go through as a black person in America, some of the things that they tell you to do will not necessarily work in your best interest because it's two different worlds, right? I don't know, maybe you're looking at this channel and you're like, oh, well, you know, I don't see color, I don't see this and I don't see that. Listen, any person will tell you that lives are different depending upon your environment, your gender, your race, you, your uh, lifestyle practices, et cetera, et cetera. All of these things play a part in our long-term outcomes. So whether you're black, whether you're female, right? Whether you grew up in poverty, the, there are certain obstacles that must be overcome that's specific to your situation in order to thrive. And if you look for a mentor that does not understand that world, you're never gonna be able to get as much guidance as you really need to get yourself out of your own slump, okay? Let's talk about the next thing. The third reason why having a mentor is so important is because of the fact that if you're finding the right mentor, this means that this is a person that has already accomplished some of the things that you want to accomplish out of life, which means they have the answers on how you can do it, on how you can become successful. I'm gonna point this out again. A mentor is just not anybody. It's not just your friend down the street. Oh, that's my mentor. It's not just you know your aunt's boyfriend who is 50 years old with an opinion. I'm not talking about just any Tom, Dick, or Harry. I'm talking about someone who has actually accomplished a proven track record of results in an area that you desire to be successful in, right? That's the definition of a mentor in my professional opinion, okay, as your success strategists because if you're going to be successful and i'm going to tell you uh this very plainly you can't listen to everybody you out of a hundred people chances are you should probably be listening to only one or two because it's only a small number of people in this life that actually know what they're talking about especially when it comes to major things a lot of people try to act as though they know or project and posture as though they know what they're talking about. But if they themselves have not done it, they should not be viewed as an authority. And that's the reason why before I even made this channel, I made a conscious decision to become a best-selling author, a real estate investor, and an entrepreneur before I came online and told anybody else what they should be doing. I'm never that type of person. The only reason why I'm even on this channel is because of the fact that I understand that I'm somewhat of a uh, unusual person in uh, the black community that actually wants to come back and give people all of the steps and secrets on how I accomplish success because there's a lot of us that have accomplished things and we never once came back to the hood to show others how we did it.
Okay, so that's the reason why I'm showing you, you got to be able to learn from someone that has experience. They've accomplished it and now they're coming back and they're showing you. Okay, so I want to be able to address um, a couple of questions that you may have in terms of finding mentors. A lot of times, you know, a mentor, somebody that is really like a, a person that could be trusted in terms of their authority, they are already going out and making things happen. They're not like your college professors that have learned about something out of a textbook filled with theory, but they have not actually done it in practice. So if you're going to find a mentor, Chances are they're not just sitting around, you know, scratching on the TV, you know, scratching on the couch, watching TV, waiting for you to call them, and they have nothing else better to do. If you're trying to find a legitimate mentor, chances are they're already going out and making moves. Chances are they're already busy continuing to grow and progress their own life. So if you're looking for a mentor, you got to be willing to keep up with where your mentor is going because they're not going to start slowing themselves down a lot of times to come and serve you. You got to find them when they're en route to where they're going. Sometimes you got to shadow them um, just behind the scenes to see what it is that they do. A mentor is not like a school teacher again that might know all of the top ways on and teaching methods for you to be able to get the point. So it's important for you to pick up on stuff from a real mentor as you go. You got to start observing what it is that they're doing. How are they going about, you know, accomplishing their success? And you have to start noticing patterns. You have to start noticing the differences in what they're doing versus what everybody else is doing. OK, and so for a lot of you guys, you're not going to be able to just go up to a person and say, hey, can you mentor me in most cases? For a lot of people, you're just going to have to start looking around for a more successful person and you're going to have to start noticing them from afar. You're going to have to start finding ways of, of trying to get yourself into that circle. And number one way that you can do that is by offering some level of value to them in exchange. Now, I want to tell you something, depending upon when you're watching this video. Hopefully, you're watching this as quickly as possible because I'm actually opening up an exclusive invite um, to you to be able to work with me over the course of the next 12 months. You know, I've gotten a lot of messages and calls and, you know, in person, people will flag me down and they say, hey, Yaziah, you know, I know that you've accomplished certain things. I want to be able to have the success that you have. Can you take me under your wing? Can you show me how you did this? It's not every day that I'm coming around, you know, a group of black men and I'm understanding how to be able to start a business or how to be able to write my own book or how to be able to, you know, travel and how to be able to accomplish all of these great things. Can you show me how to be able to do it? I'm giving you a uh, exclusive invite if you're watching this video uh, for this week that I'm recording it to be able to work with me every week over the next 12 months. If you're interested, you can click the link below and I'm going to give more details on that in just a second. But back to the reason why I made this video in the first place. Whoever your mentor is going to be, they need to be someone that has a proven track record of success. And what you need to do is you need to stop listening to the masses in terms of their objections on why you don't need a mentor. Here's something that I've heard a lot of people say. Well, why do you need a mentor when you could just look everything up on Google? Well, again, if you're talking about something that is extremely superficial, that actually doesn't matter worth a damn in life, yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of bits of information that you could look up on Google to answer a quick question. But here's the thing for the things that actually matter a lot in life that are of substance, that's not easy to do, you need to find that rare person that's actually done it so that way they could show you how to do it. If you becoming successful was as easy as you just doing an easy Google search on answering all of the questions that you have in life, 
Don't you think everybody would be successful? <laughs> Don't you think everybody would be a business owner? Don't you think everybody would have money? Don't you think everybody would have success? It ain't that easy, right? If you want to be successful, you've got to find the people that have actually accomplished success. If you want to be, again, a surgeon, you're not going to be able to just go on a website and it's just going to make you, you know, this uh, award winning world class doctor. You got to actually put in the time and learn from people that has done it, how to be able to do it. What if you're trying to build a house? Do you think that building a house is as simple as you just going on Google.com and just saying, yeah, you know what? I want to look up this article or I want to YouTube this tutorial video on how to be able to build a house. I wouldn't live in that house. <laughs> if I was going to live in a house that I built, guess who I would want to learn from? Contractors that have successfully built homes for a number of years, okay? If it was as easy as just going on some random website and learning how to build a house, everybody would be home builders. Nobody would be paying a mortgage, right? These are the things that I want you to start thinking about. I want you to stop yourself today from saying the things that average people say to justify why they don't want to strive for world-class success. Listen, if they don't want to be able to get mentors, that's on them. Let them do their thing. You're somebody that wants to accomplish something to leave a legacy. So if you want the success that only 5% of people in the world have, that means you're going to have to do the things that only 5% of people in the world do. Most people in the world right now feel like all they need to do is just go to school. Go to uh, college, go to high school, and then that short amount of time of learning, they're going to learn everything that they need to know in order for them to be successful. Here's a question. Why do you think that people are graduating today from Ivy League institutions and still cannot find jobs? And they're going back home and living with their parents. Not all of them, but a rising number across the world. Why do you think that is? Because they're learning a lot of textbook information only to go out in the real world and find that that same regurgitated, antiquated textbook information that they were learning from a professor that never actually did it as a real world practitioner <laughs> in that industry, it doesn't matter as much as they thought that it did. And then they get out into the real world and they realize that things are totally different. I remember when I went to school to study technology, when I graduated with a degree in information technology, the technology world was totally different in terms of the systems that were being used, the software, the methodologies, all these different things. I don't want to use geek language on y'all, but the technology that I was using once I actually got out into the real world was totally different from the things that I was learning in college that was based upon technology and tools that was being used 10, 20, 30 years ago. If you want to be successful, you've got to find a mentor that's already in the game. If I want to be successful in business, I would rather learn it from an entrepreneur than going and learning it from a business professor at a business school that has never started their own business. It's common sense in nature but common sense isn't always common practice. So what I want you to do as we close out this video, I want you to make the decision today to find a mentor that's going to help you push your life forward for the rest of this year. I don't want you to wait on this. I want you to find a mentor today that's going to help you dominate the rest of your year. And if you decide that you want to utilize myself as a mentor, I'm going to give you the opportunity to be able to work with me over the course of the next 12 months. You've probably been watching my videos for a while. You've understood that when I graduated from Baylor University, I paid off all of my student loan debt, which was close to about $100,000 in total. From the time that I got out of um, college, I worked as an IT project manager that was PMP certified for the largest technology company in the world. At that time, I was a recruitment manager. 
I was responsible for hiring people, understanding how resumes improve people's marketability with jobs. I gained a lot of experience in being able to help people advance themselves professionally. I have paid off my student loans. Whenever I get a car now, I pay it in cash. I have no car note. And so I'm showing you how to accomplish these things as someone that's actually done it. Not as somebody with an opinion, not as someone that just graduated from college and because of the fact that I got a degree, I feel like that entitles me to be a self-proclaimed expert. I'm telling you that any expertise that I have developed up to this point has come by way of my own results and my own actions, okay? So what I want you to do is, I want you to leave me a comment and I want you to let me know, who's your mentor going to be? That mentor has to be able to push your life forward. That mentor has to be someone that already has an established track record that has already done things and is continually doing more things to move their life forward. If you listen to anybody, you're not going to get world-class results. Michael Jordan was winning championships when he was with Phil Jackson. He was not winning championships when he was just listening to any Tom, Dick, and Harry. Okay, Tiger Woods learned how to play golf from having a father that was already a golfer. So who's going to be your mentor? Leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to be able to work with me over the next 12 months where I'm going to focus on helping you get out of debt. Maybe even getting a better job. Like I said, as a recruitment manager, I have that experience. I have multiple clients that I have worked with within the past year that have gotten $10,000 salary increases on the basis of my professional consulting with them. And they didn't have to go out and get another degree to be able to get that adjustment. They didn't have to get a new certification. All they needed to know was the tricks of the trade from someone that already specialized in recruitment. Right? When you can find someone that has already accomplished what you want to accomplish, it accelerates the learning pace, man. Even if there were certain things that you felt like you could learn on your own, how long would it take to figure that out? Do you really want to bang your head up against the wall your entire life hoping to figure something out on your own? Or do you want to be able to go in front of somebody that's already done it so that way you could find out how to start doing it in a much shorter time? Leave me a comment. Let me know who your mentor is going to be, and I'm going to see you guys on the next video. Take care.